the Upper West Side. We just passed now the Doroton, which is at 71st and Broadway, or Amsterdam. And now, incidentally, that's that magnificent gateway to the Doroton. We're going south now on Broadway to 70th Street, where we're going to make a left turn going east. Now we're going to go west to 135 West 70th Street, and we find the Pythian. Here's a close up of the top floor, the beautiful colonnade. This uh, structure was uh, designed by Thomas Lamb. It was built in 1927 and was redesigned for condominiums in 1983 by Dura, D-U-R-A. David Gura, excuse me, G-U-R-A. On the main floor, the facade, we find these very impressive pillars, columns supporting or surrounding the entrance to the Pythian. Very impressive. Its capitals are made up of these faces uh, representing kings of Babylon or Assyria. Very impressive. Very memorable. Notice the festoons that connect the heads. Terrific. Between these impressive pillars, columns, we find these marble uh, panels framed uh, elaborately. Then we pan left to this very beautifully decorated entrance containing ancient Egyptian symbols. In gold, there's a sun disk Ra, the Ankh symbol for eternal life, and here's the royal vulture holding a royal ostrich plume. Is the emblem of the Knights of Pythias. We see it again above the entrance. Here are these fantastic details. Moving across uh, these kind of cartouche lotus blossoms. And there is the sun disk god, the sun god Ra, magnificently portrayed here. Panning up these panels, which I like to think represents the Nile, uh, nurturing uh, flowers and uh, plants. Beautifully colored ceramic. Panning up from our impressive pillars, we find Greek dentals. We often find in Greek temples. We must remember that Alexander the Great conquered Egypt and brought Greek influence to it. There was 350 BC circa. These are bas reliefs of winged lions acting as guardians of palaces and gates for the kings. These look like Babylonian or Assyrian kings again, uh, human heads on our guardian, guardian lions. Panning slowly up the facade of the building, whose details we'll go into later, we find uh, receding levels which imitate the step pyramids, the original step pyramids. Now, surprise, we discover four dynamic thrusting lion heads. Fantastic. Is that a roar I heard? Now we've got a bas relief of a beautiful lotus plant it's in color, and we're going to pan up beyond that for a full shot of our facade. Notice the uh, close-up of the plant. Another pull back. I'm going to continue the panning up. There are tigers and lions again, and is that a pharaoh I see up there? Panning back, notice that very original railing. Uh, they appear to me like bundles of uh, papyrus uh, plants bound. And there we have this very awesome colonnade 
across the uh, upper stories of the building, a panning left to uh, Farrell then uh, again on the left. Here's a close-up of our columns with kind of um, cartouche-like symbols with hieroglyphics perhaps. Very, very original. The capitals, however, are a Doric, showing the Greek influence. Here's a close-up more of our, our pharaoh friend. A close-up even more so. It's a fine close-up of our pharaoh. It appears to be glazed terracotta. Very, very well done. But we're panning up to another surprise. Oxen, which appear to be hauling either a granary or a water tower. Uh, Anyway, uh, there's six of them on each tower. Here is a close-up. The designs on the side remind me of Greek triglyphs, but that, uh, that's a close call. Here's a quieter shot of, uh, of the towers with the oxen. And I'm going to give them a little bit of movement here, give them some life. Okay, now we're back with the colonnade supporting a broken cornice on the upper story. Here again, another look at our, our very original railing. Again, glazed terracotta. Vitruvius, whose ten books on architecture are still influential from 30 BC, said the main thing a building should do, one of the main things is to give delight, be visually delightful, and that the Pythian certainly does. Let's have one last look about these very impressive capitals, ancient kings. Another fond adieu to our pharaohs, maybe Ramesses I and Ramesses II. This very colorful doorway, gateway, uh, entrance to the